ام ها بیبی ام ها هی بری How's my good little boy? How are you doing? Did you hear me, babe? I said I'm... Oh my god. What happened to the TV? Baby! Are you okay? Where are you? Baby! <gasps> there you are! Hey, what? Why are you crying? What's wrong? Are you hurt? Hey, 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 hey. Deep breath. Hmm? Breathe. Breathe for me. Thank goodness you're not injured. Can I ask what happened to the TV? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Keep breathing. Speak slowly. You're, you're getting yourself all worked up. Hold my hands, babe. Look into my eyes and explain what happened. Take it slow and stay calm. It's okay, you're not alone. Really? No, I don't blame you. I would be furious too. Then what happened? I'm guessing you're the reason why the TV is broken? Hey, don't cry, it's okay. Shh. I'm not mad at you, babe. You don't need to panic. Breathe. Okay? Breathe. See? <laughs> Even Buddy here is trying to make you feel better. Neither of us are upset with you. What did you do after punching the TV? So you've been hiding away since then? I'm really sorry, babe. I wish I could have been there to help. I'm really sorry, baby. I wish I, I would have been there to help. I know I don't need to apologize, but I still wish I'd been home. I'm sure this wouldn't have happened then. You're not awful. 
Don't say that about yourself. Listen to me, baby. Anger is a normal emotion. It's an important emotion. It helps us act when things aren't fair. But you're smart. You know that there wasn't a good way to vent your frustration. I mean, obviously because you're embarrassed about it. <sighs> yeah, and guilty too. I know you never would have done that if you were in your right mind. I never said I was mad. Please, keep breathing. You've got this. That's the thing about anger. Like any emotion, it can be easy to get caught up in. But anger is the emotion that usually leads to the most a noticeable outburst. Sadness, fear, jealousy, all powerful emotions, but they're also a lot easier to hide. With anger, it's hard to keep all the rage under control. Baby, no, you shouldn't have kept your feelings inside. Okay, I'm obviously not saying you should have punched a hole in the TV, but I'm saying that you shouldn't try to bottle up your feelings. That only makes things worse. Well, let's think. There are ways to release anger that don't involve violence. You could scream into a pillow. You could punch the air. You could even you could even run and ramble to Buddy. I know he always listens. <laughs> See? There are other things you can try too. Have you ever thought about getting one of those stress balls? Or just a general stretch toy to squeeze and tug when you're upset? Maybe we could even invest in a punching bag. Or some clay to pound and mold. Baby. Don't be ashamed of being angry. Everyone gets mad sometimes. The fact that you got angry is not the problem. The problem, and I know you know it too, was lashing out the way you did. Hey, no, you're not horrible. Why would you even say that? Baby, calm down. Shh. Remember to breathe. Of course I'm not afraid of you. Why would I be? I'm not worried that you'll hurt me, babe. Neither is Buddy. See? He's trying to make you feel better. He's not afraid. Speaking of buddy, remember what happened last month? We both had to work late so he didn't get his F-O-O-D on time. And we both came home to him with his tail between his legs and a mess of chewed up shoes. 
yeah, he was really mad at us. But do you think he's horrible? Even though he broke our stuff? Exactly. He's still the same adorable, friendly dog we adopted all those months ago. So why treat yourself so harshly if you don't do the same for Buddy? Yes, you broke the TV. That's obviously not okay. But what else did you do while you were mad? Did you hurt yourself? Did you hurt Buddy? See? Even at your most angry, you didn't hurt any living things. That's good! We just need to work on not destroying objects either. I can't lie and say that I'm not upset. A TV is obviously not a cheap replacement, but I'm far more worried about you than I am for a silly old TV. Listen to me, baby. You are not a monster for being angry. You are not a bad person for losing your temper. I mean, as soon as you crossed the line, you instantly felt bad about it. That's not the sign of a malicious person. Well, you've already apologized. That's step one of making up for it. Step two would probably be getting the broken TV out of the house. No, 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 no. Don't get up yet. You need some love right now. <laughs> I love you, baby. Even at your worst. We will learn to manage your anger. We will find better coping mechanism. I promise. Hey, it's not like I can't still watch my shows. I have a phone for that. Sure, it'll be harder to watch them together, but that will be temporary. Besides, sharing a smaller screen gives us a good excuse to cuddle extra close. <laughs> Just remember this. No matter what, I love you. You can't scare me off that easily. As I said, we can worry about throwing out the TV later. Right now, you are my top priority. Your anger doesn't define you. Your anger doesn't control you. You're not a violent person. You just had a bad day. And that's nothing to hate yourself over. I love you, baby. I know that angry side isn't who you are. You're sweet, caring, lovable, and super cute. <laughs> One bad moment doesn't change that. We'll stay cuddle up until you're ready. Then we can worry about making up for your outburst. But for right now, 
I want to make sure you feel okay. I love you, baby. We'll get through this. Just like we always have. <laughs>